Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from maggiescrochet.com and I'm here to introduce you to seven projects that cover things. So the first project that I'm going to show you is a soap dispenser cover right here. This was made with worsted weight yarn and you start it from the bottom and then once you establish the rows, the rounds along the sides, it's the same stitch all the way up and then there's a little um, shell round on the top and then the little tie with the cherries on it. So that's uh, worsted weight yarn, very easy skill. And then the next one is a can cover. So this would fit like regular soda cans or even the skinny cans that you see right here. It's pretty skinny. Um, so anyway, that's a nice little gift, especially like for Father's Day or something, but you could do them in all different colors. And then this one is a bottle cover, and this is very, very stretchy, like I could even put this mason jar inside of this. So you could use this um, for any size water container, and this is great for when you go on hikes, which I do sometimes, not as much as I would need to. But anyway, um, this is very, very easy. It's a great beginner project also, and this is started at the bottom with uh, three rounds of double crochet. And then you just do a netting stitch all the way up and then you chain and then work back on the chain for the strap. So then we're also going to show you how to make a little hat that's single crochet stitches that are done in the back loop. So that would be to cover a head. <laughs> So then there's a toilet paper topper to cover your toilet paper and that started at the top and then work down um, straight on the rounds on the side. And then here's a mason jar cover for the lid, a lid cover. This looks like it's a sport weight yarn and you just do several rounds of lace and then um, thread the ribbon through to tie it. This makes great um, covers for uh, jars like if you're going to give gifts of honey or whatever. Um, then the last project is this cute little mason jar cover, or it could be any jar cover. And then um, this is really easy, started from the bottom, a shell stitch, and then this makes an, an adorable little um, vase. Or if you just take this out and you have like the lid on there, um, it'd be a great gift too. So all seven of these projects are in different videos, and right now Christina is going to show you how to make these on a close-up and the links to everything are listed below and thank you very much for watching. Hey guys it's Christina from maggiescrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this v-stitch toilet paper topper. Uh, yes indeed I do have a roll of toilet paper under here so this is a nice way to make sure that you have an extra roll handy um, but still have it look nice uh, you know coordinate with the rest of your bathroom. So you'll need two colors of yarn for this. This one is made with blue and white. Today I'll be using purple and white because I like purple. Um, you have the option of putting a, a little rosette or a ribbon at the top. Um, you can just hot glue that on or sew it on. That's up to you. Um, so this is worsted weight yarn and I'll be using a size I9 crochet hook today. So with whatever color is going to be your main color, like I said that one was blue, I'm using purple. You're going to start by chaining four. And this first one we're calling our center chain, and the other three are going to count as a double crochet. And that's uh, from here and throughout the rest of the video. Anytime we have three uh, chain stitches at the beginning of a row, they're going to count as a double crochet. So now that we've got that one, I want to work 11 more double crochets into this first center chain. So start by yarning over, go into that chain stitch there, grab a loop and pull it through. You have three loops on your hook at this point. Yarn over and pull through two of them, and then yarn over and pull through the other two, and that's a double crochet. So now we have two. So including that chain three, I want to have a total of 12 double crochets all in this center ring here. Now you may notice as you try to work all these stitches into the same chain stitch, this first chain is going to kind of stretch out, see how it's already doing that? Don't worry about it until you get to the end of the round, and then I will show you how to um, how to uh, tighten that back up uh, and make the beginning of your piece really nice. If you still have issues with it, this is um, the very top of the toilet paper cover, so this is certainly where you can glue on a little flower or a ribbon or something if it doesn't look quite the way you want it to. Oh, I've been talking, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, including the chain three. So I just need four more. Three and 
four is my last one. So yeah, that's gotten pretty big, but you know what? We've got this uh, tail left here from our slip knot, and if I just give that a nice little tug, it'll pull that right together. So make sure you tug that real nice and tight before you finish the send off, uh, weave it in and all that. Now I'm going to join my round. I'm going to take my hook, go into the top of that chain three, grab a loop and pull it through, and pull that loop through the loop already on my hook. And that's round one, a nice little circle there. For round two, you're going to chain three, double crochet in the same stitches joining. That's right here. See where that joined and it kind of stretches that out. Double crochet right in there. And then we're going to do two double crochets in each stitch around. So here's our next one. We'll do one double crochet and then two. So we're increasing in every stitch. We had 12 at the end of round one. At the end of round two, we'll have uh, 24 double crochets. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish round two. Then I'll come back and show you how to do round three. So here I am at the end of round two. Uh, the next thing to do is join my round and then uh, you'll see the pattern says to finish off and weave in your ends. That's because we're using uh, another color for the next round. We're going to be using white. But the round immediately after it will be coming back to purple. So personally I prefer not to finish off my yarn just to kind of carry it behind and then pull it back up when I need it. You can certainly finish it off here if you want. It is just a little bit cleaner um, but carrying it over is a little easier and a little faster. So with that in mind, let me show you how to change colors in the middle of a project. So I've got my white yarn here. Let me find the end. I'm going to go ahead and tie a slip knot, just like that. Now when I, going to join, when I go to join my round here, I would go into the top of the first double crochet, which is this chain three here. Then I'd grab a loop and pull it through both loops. Instead of using the purple, I'm going to grab the white. And that's when I'm going to pull through both of those loops. And that way, now I have the white on my hook. It's nice and secure. I'm ready to move on to the next round. For round three, uh, join your yarn. If you do it like this, uh, just do exactly what I showed you. If you want to uh, start it, if you want to finish off the main color and then add it, just join it with a slip stitch. Either way, once you've done that, chain four. And this we're going to count as a double crochet. The first three count as a double crochet. And the last one just counts as a chain, which it is. Then we're going to double crochet in the same stitches joining. Again, that's kind of here where it's stretched out just a little bit. Just yarn over, go right in there and double crochet. So, so far we've done double crochet, chain one, double crochet. You're going to skip the next stitch. So this one right here, we're just going to skip that. And in the next stitch, we're going to do the V stitch. You'll see this listed at the top of the pattern under special stitches. And what it is, is you're going to double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet in the same stitch again. Then you'll skip the next stitch, and in the next one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And we'll just repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, I am going to go ahead and finish off the white. We will come back to it, but not for three or four rounds, so I'm not going to worry about trying to carry it in between my rounds. I'm going to go ahead and finish it off once I finish round three, then I'll come back and show you round four. So here's my project after round three. Like I said, I uh, cut off my white and I went ahead and wove all my ends in just so they'd be out of the way. So now you want to join your main color back in. So you're going to do this with a slip stitch. So um, just join with a slip stitch to any chain one space. And I'm just going to slip stitch right over that there. Then you're going to chain three and work two double crochets in the same space. So yarn over, go right underneath that chain and that's where you work your double crochet. And then we'll have a second one. Next in the space between two V stitches, so, so this is a V stitch, the two double crochets worked in one space, and that's a V stitch. So in the space in between them right here, you're gonna do a double crochet. So just yarn over, go right in the middle there, and work a double crochet like that. 
Then you're going to work three double crochets in the next chain one space. Again, that's here in the middle of the V stitch. Just go right under that chain to work your double crochets. And then in between that V stitch and the next one, so here's a V stitch, here's a V stitch, here's the space in between, go ahead and do just one double crochet. So it'll alternate like that, three, one, three, one, all the way around. So I'm going to finish round four. Uh, round five is worked in the back loop, so I'm going to come back and show you how to work in the back loops. Um, and that, that'll be pretty much everything you need to know about this project, but uh, I'll come back and show you uh, round five just as soon as I finish round four. So now I've basically completed the top of uh, this topper. Um, and the next step is to start working down the side. So for round five, start by chaining three. Then you're going to double crochet in each double crochet round, working in the back loops only. So as you look at this stitch right here, normally we'd go like that and work our stitch. And you can see that there's two loops there. One close to us, one further away from us, which we call respectively the front and back loops. So instead of going under both of those, you're going to just go kind of right down the middle so that you're only using the back one. So that's where you'll work your double crochets, just like that. Other than that, it's exactly the same. And you'll see as you go along, this leaves kind of a little ridge. Um, and what that is is those front loops that we didn't work in. It leaves kind of a nice little ridge there. And this is where uh, we begin to work down the sides of our toilet paper topper. So just continue working uh, one stitch per stitch all the way around for round five. Round six uh, will also be one double crochet per stitch. You can go back to working in both loops at that point. We're only doing this um, where the kind of corner is. Round seven is going to be more V stitches. Then you'll have two more rows of your main color. Again, just one stitch per stitch around. Another row of V stitches and then two more of your main color. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions about this project, you can certainly ask them down in the comments. And uh, the links for everything you'll need for this project can be found in the description. Thanks for watching. And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.